Okay, folks, um, <clears throat> on the Crater of Diamonds, this is uh, Diamond Dog Curtis or Diamond Coach Curtis here. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what my name's going to be. Anyway, if you're going to the Crater of Diamonds, this, a lot of people are asking what to take. Um, so far, i found this is the best. You can rent a lot of this equipment at the hardware store, but let's just get into it. This is a small chair. You may want a little bit bigger chair, um, but... This is a fanny pack, and I keep in there my little popsicle stick thing I made. You can use a modeling tool. When you pick up a diamond or anything suspected diamond, don't use tweezers. Don't use your uh, hand. Use a little stick and then put your hand underneath it. Uh, ideally, put a screen set, the bottom screen set. I'll show you that in a minute. Keep a 20 underneath it. You want cut proof gloves. Uh, that's the one I use on my right hand. If you're digging, there is glass. You can cut your finger. I actually couldn't find my glove on my right hand, and I got this scoop up here. I like that scoop. You can get the plastic scoop. I got that at the hardware store in Murfreesboro for 18 bucks. It works really good for digging, but I did the edge cut my finger. So you wear a cut-proof glove. We're using any of these tools. And safety first. Uh, I use a pair of safety glasses with bifocals in them. Uh, something fly in your eye. Uh, that's just optional equipment. But you got here a shovel. I like this little small shovel. It comes in real handy. Probably use it more. A bigger shovel to get down in the creeks and really get after some gravel. The uh, the muddy spots, when you take the mud off, if you want to find pretty rocks, they're going to be down in those drains where there's a lot of water. And even you may go to the, the, the east drain or the uh, west drain at the pig pen and you'll see mud. But get you some rubber boots. I don't have mine. I've got... Uh, I've got some real good rubber boots, so minor lacrosse boots. They're really good for digging. If you get just regular rubber boots, they don't have hard soles, but they'll work to protect your feet. But if you're going to actually do a lot of digging, you need a good hard sole boot to cover that. Uh, one thing that people don't take, and I, every time I go, oh, knee pads, I didn't think of those. That is, uh, that is just, that's a money saver right there. If you're getting down there digging around, that's what you're going to need. Uh, I've got a backpack here and I actually put I've got bucket classifiers But this is kind of like the minimum you definitely want to get a set of screens folks And you want to YouTube how to use those screens and do flips But you can dry sift with those. It's a quarter inch top screen and a this is probably a 20 Or 16 window screen these these are the ones that love joy sell $25 you can rent another set at the hardware store, but get two sets if you're two people but one person can be up washing. I've got more than four buckets, but I recommend at least four buckets till you get the hang of it. The more buckets you process, the more chance you get a diamond. But watch how to do the flip and how to, how to classify. This is called classifying material. I've got bucket classifiers. Should probably bring them out. I'm doing a video. But anyway, this is the basic setup. This is basic stuff. Don't buy that little flimsy cart. It folds up at Walmart with the plastic wheels. I've been there twice. One was left in the parking lot with the wheels broke, and the second one they were loaded with it. That's okay if you want to put your lunch or some small light stuff, but you need a heavy-duty cart. I actually have the little Gorilla cart. They're about $64 on Amazon. They work okay for a light trip, but their wheelbase is not very long. If you put buckets of materials in there, it's going to flip. This one, if you don't get your load in here, but what's nice is I actually put a fold-up table in here and set my little wash station. Um, I've got to, I'll have got i show you that too. But the very minimum, I'm starting to say very minimum, is four buckets, a screen set. If there's two of you, get you know buy one and rent one. You're going to want to take these home. I spent all day over here, on my, over here washing and doing my flips. And I've got the Saruka, which is $85. But again, beginners... This is the this is the beginning, the m very minimum you need. The backpack, like I said, I can put the screen sets in. If I'm starting to load stuff, I can put most of my screens and classifiers in this bag. It's lightweight, and I'm carrying that on my back. I've got the little backpack. By the way, that's what they call a probe. You know, if you get professional, that's what they're finding the gravel underneath. You can YouTube that, but I use this backpack. This is a, this is a little, I, I keep my, this is my lunch bag. I put, uh, I got this on Amazon. It wasn't that much, but I'll have my Vieners and I, I've got an extra bottle here. I keep my mineral identification notebook. Uh, I got my extra popsicle sticks. 
You want to have Ziploc bags, get uh, one gallon uh, one gallon and quart gallon bags. I don't know if I have any left. I gave them to people. I keep uh, a set of bungee cords and string and just stuff I need in that pack. Okay, so the video shut off when you start moving on the phone. Like I said, I'm doing this on my phone, but you got little places in this pack. This is handy. There's little bottles. Bought those on Amazon. They're down there. Put your fines in. Have extra bottles. You're going to find quartz. You can have a little bucket to put rocks in. Use that little bucket to fill other big buckets. You know, somebody left this scoop, this little trowel here that was left. I picked that up out there. Um, optional item, if you're going to get serious, you know, you want to take more and you want to set up and understand the wash station. This is a fold up table at Walmart. It folds up nicely, sits right in the side. I actually take a wash tub out because. I actually get around the drains and I find water and I fill it up and I work my screen sets right there. I don't have to haul everything. I'm classifying the material down with the screens and then I'll go to the wash station and flip my center. So I'll have a bucket or two buckets of material that I've already washed down. But this little table was handy. You don't need this for the, you don't need this on your first trip and, unless you start YouTubing and you see. Uh, Here's a little Saruka that was bought at the hard. I bought it at the hardware store. This is not the high dollar Saruka, but this is an item that is still handy for classifying. Even if you're dry sifting, um, you can rent this at the hardware store. So you can rent a lot of stuff. Me, I knew I was going back, so I bought. Uh, don't have my rubber boots, but a good pair of work boots um, are, are are good to have to protect your feet. Okay, this is the bucket classifier five piece set. That's 75 bucks. 65, 75 bucks. It's got half inch, quarter inch, eighth inch, one twelfth, and one twenty. In the field, you use the half, the quarter, and the one twentieth. When you get home, you're going to use, and you get all your centers done, you use the one eighth and the twenty. That'll help you sort out and get all the next bigger stuff out and find your diamond. But I use these in the field. Uh, I'm out there washing and I use those for dry sifting or, or set me a little place in the drain with my, my, my uh, pond that I have and I actually classify everything down, fill a bucket, then I'll go up to the wash station with a couple buckets of classified already material then I'd flip my centers. Again, I don't have my $80 Saruka, it's a Carolina Saruka. YouTube folks, YouTube is so available, you can look up Saruka and you can get the idea, but do your work. I went the first time. After watching YouTube videos, and everybody thought I was a pro. But go equipped. I hope that helps. Okay, folks. So uh, I had the backpack here. I didn't. I didn't have the apron. So that's definitely a plus. You're going to start doing a lot of washing. You start getting serious. You learn how to do the flips. You know everything I covered again. I can do it all in one video now. You got an apron. You got your basic screen sets. YouTube, how to use those. You got a scoop. Eighteen dollars at the hardware store. You can use plastic. You need a cut proof glove because I cut my fingers on this edge right here trying to dig in. So you can use plastic but always have this. There's glass and again there's glass at the at the crater. You're digging around to get a hand. I use a little fanny pack. I use the, the, the a modeling tool. It's called modeling tool. I use a little popsicle stick. That's what I pick things up with. Do not pick up with tweezers. There's my uh, little bottle I got on Amazon. Put my little quartz in. You got uh, a, just some old medicine bottles. Great for keeping your fines. I carry. I have a fanny pack. I actually will walk out. I might have this on me. Uh, I've got Ziploc bags, quartz, gallons, and my lunch and, and water bottle. I put three water bottles in there. A diet coke, whatever your favorite drink. The little shovel's handy. Grab a bucket, four buckets at minimum, uh, especially with a couple. So again, you'll YouTube. And my setup again, I do take the table, that's a fold up Walmart table, and I take that, that uh, wash station, I use that table and that wash that tub up there and I fill that with water. And again, I don't put my bucket classifiers up, but I got the five bucket classifiers and I can go in there pretty lightweight. I can put the classifiers in my backpack along with the Saruka and I can classify down the material. Again, classifying is quarter inch to 20 you know 16 or 20 you get the big rocks out you get the quarter inch rocks out and that's where your diamonds are going to be and when you do your little little flip 
and you classify and wash and move it around and center, you're going to do a flip. So maybe that one will be a little better.